Hey, what's up hunters? I'm actually gonna bring you another guide for this time it's gonna be Teostra. We're gonna do a guide video for Teostra with bow. Now, bow, which is a ranged weapon, is considered a bit different, I think, from the heavy bow guns. I don't think you can hit zero damage with heavy bow guns, but with bow you can. Now, I'm not sure how that falls in for melee weapons. Now, where I was getting at about zero damage, that happens when Teostra is in rage and you're using bow. If you hit him anywhere that's not his face, you would actually be doing zero damage. Sometimes you'd be doing half damage, but you most of the time you would be doing zero damage. Zero damage is the worst thing you can be hitting. Because honestly, that means you're wasting your shots, you're wasting your ammo, you're wasting your time. So you should be trying to get better at it. Now... Let me show you the build I'm actually running for this run. Another thing, we're going to try and get him under three minutes. Hopefully we do, but we're going to try and get him under three minutes. I like if I can get it under three minutes. Let's see. Uh, we're going to be running three frost jewels, one attack and two physiques. These are these two, these three right here are actually fillers. The one attack is because everybody can have one, at least one attack jewel from finishing the game. The two physiques. Those are just fillers. You could actually use dash juice with three physiques, with three uh, constitution instead of five. Now that I show you the decorations, I'm actually going to show you that on the equipment info, the Rathalos set does pronk. It is on white, so that means it is active. When it's grayed out like the ones at the bottom, it means that it's not active. And to activate them, you will have to achieve the, the box that you see in yellow. So we are going to be running the same equipment. We're going to be using the affinity booster for that 50 extra uh, crit. Not damage, just how often we can land the crits and the evasion mantle. Now, let's actually fly to the Elder Reese. Now we're going straight to the Elder Reese because we, we don't want the wing drakes to drop us off at the random area if you're actually working on speed runs. If you really don't care, you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. But if you want to work on speed runs and you don't want the wing drakes to drop you off at a random area, then you can just go straight into that area. So let's get ready. Let's actually get some items. I don't think I refreshed my items from the last time. So I'm going to get my items right here. Now, we are using the ice bow, but the hardest hitting um, damage that you can do with a water bow is actually very, very high compared to the ice bow. But the water bows are a little bit harder to make and a bit more of a grind to achieve. It's not necessarily for the bow. It's more for the decorations that go into that build. Now, if you ever want to look at your hunter's notes, you will see that Teostra is actually weak to water and ice. So he's three times weak to water and three times weak to ice. So you can use either the ice bow or the water bow. But again, the ice bow has a limitation that the water bow doesn't in this game, since the water bow can reach a higher raw and a higher elemental damage. So when you go for these food buffs, I always go for attack large. You guys can go for any you want, but if you want it to be exactly like this run, it will have to be attack large. So let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to be using our optionals, I think, because we don't have a single investigation for Teostra that isn't tempered. So yeah, I don't think we have any. Yeah, we don't have any. So we're going to have to uh, eventually get some for the investigations. So let's actually do the optionals. Now in the optionals, um, again, you can just use these for practice. And you can do them over and over again. So let's get this fight started. Do exactly what I do or pay attention to what I do. I would be making mistakes. If I make them, I'll let you know what I did wrong and how could I change or improved on it. But for the most part, always pay attention to to Teostra and what I'm gonna do with him. Now, oh, thank God Teostra is actually gonna sit down. That means I can just buff up right in front of him. So I'm just gonna set up in front of him right now so we can get this fight started. So we actually missed the, the buff there. 
but we got it right there. So, you, if you're patient with Steel Strut, you can actually knock them out pretty fast. Now that we got the we got them knocked out the combos you want to be going for is actually gonna be spread right trigger right trigger spread now when he turns around like that just go to your right and I'll try to avoid that tail as much as possible so right there we actually got our buffs and we weren't paying attention to the TL shirt right there there we go, we knocked him out again. Now spread, right trigger, right trigger, spread. Always try to get as close as possible so that you, you don't miss your shots. So that you can hit for max damage since his, his weakness is only his horns and I think the top of his head. There we go, we knocked him out again, putting him on his ass. The more often you put him on his ass, the less time you actually have to be fighting him. So we're actually going to use spread uh, close range here. Always get next to him so that you don't have to deal with the fire's breath. Alright. Let's get him over here. Oh look, he's actually done. Alright, so we're not going to let him get away. We actually want to finish the fight here. So just let him hop a little bit until he gets off the floor and then go for it. Drop the flash pot on him. So we're going to be trying, alright he's actually not going to hit us, which is good. There we go, he's getting knocked out. Alright. Now, we did make a couple mistakes there, we could have done it better. So let's actually see the time that we were able to achieve this. We did get it in 2 minutes and 47 seconds. So. It is achievable to get it under 3 with this build, which is awesome. I hope that you guys did find this helpful. I did make a couple mistakes. I should have been patient with a few of those hits if he didn't hit me. The roars, everything is practice. Once you actually get better at dodging roars, you wouldn't really need evasion mantle to dodge roars. You'll be able to do it just by looking at the monster. But um, if you guys found this helpful, just drop a like share subscribe if you want to see more um but if anything i will catch you guys next time i will try and complete all the elders with bow then step into other monsters territories from time to time if you guys want to see those with bow as well and maybe i'll try different weapons as well probably like the long sword the hammer the shooting sword weapons that i normally do use or insect glaive for that matter because i'm actually pretty decent with the insect glaive a uh, bit of anything else guys just like I'll catch you guys later peace